You got ketchup all around your face. Hmm? You got ke like, you got ketchup all around your face. <laughs> Hey! What's happening everybody? Long time no see. Haven't had a video up for a little while, but we thought we'd do one because we have a nice surprise to show you guys. What do you think? Yeah. You got ketchup all around your face. Hmm? You got ke like, you got ketchup all around your face. <laughs> we had a McDonald's. We just got back. Sue me. I got tire. Yeah. That's that's off the uh, red jeep, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we have something super exciting to show you guys today. Don't we ask? Yeah. Daddy's been spending some money, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. So if you follow me on Instagram at Scale Adventures, um, you will know that I have a, a two-door red Jeep that I am trying to sort of recreate into an old truck I used to have, uh, which was yellow, called Wally Jeep. Oh. If you're on the Instagram, go back through some of the um, posts. Um, I think it's about 2017 backwards. That's when that was about. Where'd you go? What's this there? Um, yeah, and I absolutely adored that truck. Um, I reluctantly sold it thinking that I was coming out of the hobby um, because we were busy looking after him because he was a baby. Um, no we weren't, yes we were because it was in 2018 I sold it um, and I also was trying to build a mountain bike at the time so I needed some money so yeah I sold it and then regretted I sold, I regrettably sold it uh, worst mistake I ever did, wish I never did, loved that truck, my favourite truck so what we're doing is we're making a I haven't thought of a name for it yet because it's a different colour. I went for a different colour because I had a Wally Jeep 1 and a Wally Jeep 2. And that was a few years back. The Wally Jeep 1 um, didn't have a roof on it. It was caged. It was a two-door two JK. Uh, yeah, two-door JK. Uh, that was caged. And it was almost a prototype, really. It was the first one I did. Um, the wheelbase was a bit wrong. Should have done the wheelbase a little bit better. So I made Wally Jeep 2, which was the one I'm talking about was my favourite one and I really liked it, it was so good, had a really nice um, SSD winch on it. Like I say, go back, if you're on Instagram, go back, check it out, it's awesome. Right, so, this is the truck, well this is the body uh, that we're working on, um, it's quite still fresh in the old, um, what do you call it, mm, um, build, if that makes sense. So all I've done now, yeah we cut that bit off yesterday, so what I've done so far is, like Oscar says, I've cut that bit out of the body, uh, out of the roof sorry, so that would have been in the roof sort of there somewhere, oh you guys can't see, uh, sort of there somewhere, and then we cut the back piece off that, and then the front piece off that, and joined them together to make it look more of a pickup sort of style, um, so that was what we've done there. Um, I might do a new video on this, um, maybe, um, but this is not what I wanted to really show you guys, it's just a bit of background so you know what's going on, because like I do videos whenever there's a blue moon, or pigs fly. This is what I want to show you guys today. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Excited? Yeah? Is that toy car right Yeah, now? you hold that one. Okay. And show the camera. When I say go, you show the camera. Ready? Three, hold it. Three, two, one, go. Ta da! Okay, so what I've done is I've spent some money. Let's get them in the camera. I've been spending some money and I have bought myself for this truck. I'll take this one. Some boom racing. You hold that one in. Some boom racing fat axles. Fat That's axle. the fat axles. Fat axles. All right, they are completely aluminum. They come with all the internals, both ones. This is the front, that's the rear. Um, and they're based on an AR44 axle, which is the SCX102 axle. Um, we'll get them out and um, we'll show you guys what they really look like. I had some of these on my um, Wally Jeep, the uh, Wally Jeep 2. Um, I had some of these on there and I freaking loved them. I bought them. Um, thinking they were going to be plastic and they weren't they were machined aluminum i think I'll show you aluminum 
I'm pretty sure they're the aluminum. Um, and I was so impressed with them. They're so heavy as well. So you get that low down weight, uh, keeps the truck planted, especially with having a hard body on it, um, which makes it quite heavy, uh, top heavy. And then I'll put a roll cage on it as well, so it makes it even heavier. So having a lot of weight low down, awesome. Right, let's get in and have a look at these things, shall we? Yeah. Cool. Like I said, that's the front. That's the front. Um, it comes with knuckles. And knuckles. And everything. And you have got the rear, which is without the knuckles and stuff. But we'll get them out and we'll have a look. I'll take that one. Oh, all right. Jeez. Okay. All right, you ready? Cool. We're going to get these things open. Okay, so I'll open the back one. I've opened this one already and I ripped the box. Oh, I, so we had to call in assistance, didn't we? I just want that one. Yeah, we'll open that one in a second. There you go. Oh, look at that. They released. They're in there. They're in there. They're in there. It's coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so we're in this lovely foam. All cut out, ready to fit. Made to fit. Come out. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Right, so that's the rear. They're lovely and heavy. And machine, this is all metal, all of it's metal. They've got little caps or heat shrink, if you like, on the um on the studs. I'll get that off. I'll probably need a knife. You can see there's a stud there. These guards, they've got these guards, they're like diff guards. Um, we've got another another little cover there. So all the internals are there. Really nice, really nice. This is nice and heavy. Um, so the back comes with the 12 mil hexes that go on the um, half shafts, so your wheels can go on. And then we've got some washers. I'm guessing the washers are for Mm, potentially the screws maybe I'm not sure I'll have to look into that um, and then we'll open the front one I, I open we'll put that on there like that, I, I, I that one. and then I think you'll have a struggle to open it because daddy keeps ripping the boxes opening them and I didn't really want to I like, I like it's so tight in there like yeah, just leave it there for a second we'll have a look in a second there we go this one's a bit easier to get out I think it's because it's heavier Right, so this one is the front. So this has got a bit more going on. This is the front this one. This is the front one, yeah, that's it. Okay, so in this little cutout here, we have, if I can get it out. Oh, there it is. Um, we have the, I want to say that, where's the instruction? Got any instructions? I want to say that could be a um, power, that might be a servo um, linkage. You know, servo steering arm linkage or pan hard. I don't think it's pan hard. It's not long enough for a pan hard. Um, not sure what that one is. Uh, again, we've got more washers. More washers. Um, There's some more washers there. Yep. Got them out. You get them? Get it. Go on. Get it. Get it. I'm stuck on there. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there What you got there? Can you tell me what they are? Um. I don't know. You don't know. Can we show you? Yeah. Okay. So what you've got there is um, the linkage ball joints. Yeah. Um, so the like, rod eyes and stuff. Um, you've got the ball joints that go in the rod in the rod eyes. So these all screw onto the end of the rods, like this one here. Uh, they screw on the end, and then you put the metal ball joints in the centre, um, like that. I tend to just make my own. You want to get that one out as well, do you? Oh, uh, what have you got? Well, do you want to show the people, or are you that interested yourself? Um, there you go, that's the more hexes and hexes for the front axle, and all the hardware you'll need to like put the linkage, um, the four point, yeah, the four linkage arms on and stuff, or three on the front and two or four on the back. Um, so yeah, you've got all of that, all there, and then you've got all this loveliness. They turn the wheels that. Yeah, so you've got the, the steering knuckles, which are all metal. Um, you've got the half shafts, which are Daddy, all metal, obviously. Daddy. Yes. These are the backs. That's the back axle, yeah. Yeah, and that's the front one. That is the front one, yeah. How do you know it's the front one? Um, it's going on the red truck. Because it steers. It steers. That's it. Right, so um, yeah, so you've got the steering knuckles and all of them, all of that's aluminum. It's all very nice machined. 
Um, again, really heavy. The half shafts are sweet. I say I had these axles before on my old truck and I love them, hence why I bought some more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can't really fault them in any way possible. I mean, they are trail, they are proven. What are you doing? You hold this. Um, I got. Oh, you want that, do you? Okay. You okay. Um, I get the boxes. There you go. The so yeah, super nice axles these. I'll let you guys just take a look. This is the body that is. That's the Chevy that is. I like glue, Daddy. Try to connect it. No, I got these, Daddy. Oh, I need that bit. Here's the body. I got these, the belt ones. I got the belts. These for the back ones. So yeah, super nice axles. So yeah, I'm really pleased with these. Um, I will be getting them on the new truck. Oski, what are you doing? Jesus. We'll be getting them on the new truck um, when I've made up some links. And yeah, super excited. Can't wait. Another step closer. I got my truck right now. I got my big one. I got my big boy one. Mm. I have a big boy truck. Okay guys, so you can see that those axles are sweet. Um, just to let you guys know, I ordered these axles off Asia Tees. Um, I'll drop a link in the description. Um, but they are boom racing axles, Asia Tees sell boom racing stuff. So that's where I always get them from. Um, and they come all the way from China, I'm in England, and I got them within a week and it was sweet. I mean, obviously um, you can choose what postage um, like you wanna, wanna have, but obviously it goes the faster you want it here. Uh, the price goes up. I think I paid the cheapest for postage, which was like thirteen ninety nine, um, and that was like um, like standard sort of five day working day delivery. Um, so yeah, I ordered them last. It'd been a week ago yesterday. So yeah, and I got them today. So yeah, that was really good. Um, also, um, Boom Racing um, write a little bit of information about the axles on the back of the axle boxes, obviously, and um, it's it's quite interesting. Um, Basically, I'll just read you a little bit now, but it says um, uh, Boom Racing Fat Axles are designed to perform in the most extreme terrains. Based on a one-to-one -one crawler axle, fat axles provide the scale, look and built proof performance you're looking for. Fat axles add weight low down, and then in brackets it says, for a low center of gravity and without adding a rotating mass. And it says, and slides through difficult terrain with style. The reinforced axles add protection to the drivetrain and our heavy duty gears provide durability to the maximal, uh, maximi, max, maximize axle performance. Sorry, I can't read. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it says, uh, like it carries on saying like fat axles um, and then the applications, upgrades and stock crawlers, you can use them for builds, you can swap them out on your um, RTRs and it also says features it says features include all the best parts from boom racing um, piercing tolerance or to maximum performance ultra heavy to keep the center of gravity low uh, hand built and quality checked with care and all hardware included which is what I showed you in the video earlier um, I'm pretty sure that might be for the servo um, coming from the servo horn to the um, steering knuckle so um, you know uh, like that, I don't get all your hands in the way. There you go. I don't think um, it would uh, be for the um, pan hard because it's nowhere near long enough, and I'll make me anyway. Um, but yeah, you get all the hardware like we showed you in the video, all the bolts, all the nuts, and all the screws, which is brilliant. Um, and yeah, I am super stoked to get these on the new red Jeep. I cannot wait. I am dying to get a new truck out there I've had the little rip over now for getting on for three years and I haven't had any other trucks um, to play with um, we've got Oscar's truck which is the Toyota uh, SR5 which is basically an SCX 10 2 with a Toyota SR5 body on um, which we've been playing with um, we also put a white JK um, five door body on it um, for a little while but it was quite top heavy and um, Oscar didn't really like it that much because it kept falling over, which is fair enough. And the other thing is, we had because it was hard plastic, 
Oscar does like to crash things because he's only three. Um, so that was getting an absolute pummeling. So we put the Lexan back on the SR5 body and he now loves it because he can sort of roll it about and it doesn't break, which is brilliant. So yeah, um, just wanted to put a little video on today because I was really excited about getting these axles. I cannot, like I said, cannot wait to get them on the truck. I will do a video on the truck as it progresses a little bit more. It's quite far from anything substantial at the moment. Like I said, I've got the axles, I'll make some links, blah de blah. Um, we've got a front motor mount going, or oh, it's already on the uh, chassis. We've got a front motor mount from GCM Racing over in Canada, um, which is gonna be wicked. I'm gonna put a uh, Tekken motor in it. At the moment, I'm thinking I'll put a Tekken motor in it. Um, I've never had a Tekken motor, it'll only be a brush motor. Um, I do like a brush motor. I'd like how simple and um, like sort of, trouble free they are I don't to be fair I've never had a brushless motor so I can't really comment but I've always had brush motors uh, I should probably try one <laughs> before I start making comments um, but anyway I yeah so we've got a, a GCM front motor mount which is going on which is just here um, that's already on um, so massive thanks to them they probably won't watch this because I have like two views but never mind um, and uh, yeah but that's it that's it for this video I really appreciate if you give it a watch and if you liked it give it a like Anything you want to say, put it in the comments, and if you enjoyed it, hit the old subscribe button. Well, um, I'll try and do some more. Be wicked. And he's coming back. I just bought a battery charge. Not yet, it's still on charge. Whoa, you disappeared out the door. Where'd you go? It's not ready yet. Not ready yet. Oh. Still on charge, mate. Oh. You gonna say goodbye to the people? Bye. Is that it? Yeah. What have you got to do? Um. Got to like the button. You gotta like the button. And subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, he still got it. He still got it. Have fun. Yeah. Right. Cool. We're gonna go, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye. -bye. We're going to the woods. Yeah, we're going to the woods. Yeah. We're waiting for the batteries to charge. Yeah. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wait, wait. Don't go. Don't go. I just found the steering link. It was in. It was in deep. It was in one of these slots, but really deep, so I, I didn't see it. So yes, that one is for the servo horn to the knuckle, and that one is for the uh, steering. So that's your steering arm, and that's just to the servo, that way, uh, no wait, bear with, that way. So that's how it goes. And then your axle will be like that. So yeah, that is what that's for. Sorry people, that was a bad quality video, but it's me. And you know I don't do it very often. So yeah, steering and servo horn. Little one, big one. Make sure you do check your packaging for any hidden bits of hardware. Because, um, like I say, it was hidden in there, like in the middle, and I didn't see it. So I saw the little one, but I didn't see the big one. But yeah, cheers guys. See ya.